Now, this is going to be a cooking video because I'm going to roast your Instagram account so well that they become crisp, deep fried chicken that I will serve to the rest of my subscribers so that they might grow and learn from your mistakes. All right, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to roast your account. I mean, the only way to really do that would be to roast your artwork, but that would be better for another video. But what I am going to do is take a very critical eye and be very blunt and even particularly harsh, depending on your account, and look at it from the eye of how well is your account performing in terms of building an audience for yourself with the goal of creating a business and supporting yourself as an artist. It's just so clear to me what you should be doing to build your account and to sustain it and to get people's attention. And so if I don't see what I'm looking for or if I see something that does the opposite of it, I'm going to point it out and be very clear about it. And I've seen this a lot. And so I'm not going to go through every all 200 plus of you. A lot of the stuff that I see here is very repetitive. So please pay close attention to every advice that I give to each account because I really believe it applies to a lot of people and a lot of people can benefit from hearing what I have to say. If you feel really down in the dumps after this video, don't worry. The next video I have, which is going to come out very soon, I'm going to link it in the description and the end screen and all that, and I'll probably put it in a card right now once it's done. In that video, I'm going to tell you what other Instagram artists are doing from different levels, not just people who have a million followers, and I want to show you what they're doing and how you can take what they're doing and bring it down to your level so that you can grow. Again, I want to reiterate, this is all coming from my heart. I love you all. You are my subscribers, and I want you the best in your journey to grow and support yourself as an artist in the future. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your seatbelts on, get your tissue box out, and let's go ahead and switch over and get right into the roasting. All right, Jay Yesh. The one problem I have though, immediately upon seeing your page is that you're not following anyone. This says zero. That's not a good look. Even me, when I was growing in my account and I was following 200 people and I had several thousand followers, people would DM me, come on, Josh, why aren't you following anyone? Who are you? Like, come on, follow somebody. You're, you think you're so good. You think you're so full of yourself. People are going to be turned off a little bit at your level when you're not following anyone. I'm sure you could have plenty of good reasons. I've done that before, but you know, just be wary. If you're trying to build, you know, an audience that cares, that's, they're going to look at that. A big question everyone should ask themselves is what what is someone going to follow you for? And if I look at this, what am I following you for? It's like random sketches of clowns and animals and then clip art. The level of your artwork is going to limit you. I would say you shouldn't expect more than a thousand followers, 500. You know, I wouldn't even know what I'm going to get a commission for if I were to look at your page and you say DM for commission work. And you have your Ko-Fi link. That's good. Got to get that money. You have 2,279 followers and 250 following, which is good, a 10 to one ratio. The quality of your work, if I were to select the best that you have, I'd say your potential could be potentially up to 20,000 followers. But the thing is, there's some things that just give you the cringe factor that's like, it's just, there's something off about it. This one is really popular too, but it's because it's Rihanna, so, you know. Like over here, like, that's not, that looks like it's blood or something, you know, like, <laughs> and I'd say for you to, a way to improve would be to take better photos, which sounds crazy because you are already doing a really good job, but try to use more like natural lighting. It feels very stale here. In my next video, I'm going to show you exactly what kind of images I would want you or anyone who does these types where you actually photograph your traditional stuff to pay attention to. I would say you need to change your username. Um, this is just not going to be good to build an audience. You're not saying anything in your bio. So like, you know, why, why would I follow? Like, this doesn't encourage me to follow you. I can barely understand your username. There's no sense of personality. It seems like you're not too serious about it. You got top tier memes here, which isn't necessarily too bad, but you know, it's just adding to what I'm missing out on here. Um, your artwork is not the worst I've seen, but it's definitely going to limit you in terms of what you should expect for your audience. This is just not something you put on Instagram. You know, it's just not quality. You couldn't decide on, it looks, you, you drew through his scarf. You didn't take the time to erase that. Like, you know, people, people on Instagram, not everyone is a great artist, but they're not, they're not gonna accept that kind of stuff. You gotta really put in a lot more effort. I, I can tell you can do better than that because you've got this really detailed drawing of a dragon here that you've inked. The biggest thing here is that no one is going to read these posts. Let's let's do this. One, two, 
three, four out of nine are just full of text and no one's gonna read that on Instagram. Instagram is super fast paced. It is so fast paced. For that reason, I find it harder to grow than on YouTube. No one's gonna read that stuff. Put that in the comments if you need to. If you wanna put stuff, some information, make it like bite sized so that people can really enjoy it and consume it quickly and then they can decide if they wanna eat more by looking in your caption. If I saw this, I would scroll past it because I'm like, I already saw this book. People are gonna feel like they've seen stuff before and get bored. 400. 500 likes and then look at this 66 44 you know it's, it's pretty clear what people want to see here they like your work but they don't want to read you don't know i don't know what this is i don't understand what that means and that's not really inspiring me inspiring me to follow you i don't know what people are supposed to take from this you have this really weird drawing of of Mickey and it's not the it's not the cool like messy Mickey Mouse that you see drawn it's just it's just not good um it doesn't have that cool like oh this is bad but it's good style am I here for the Simpsons you know like I don't I don't know what this is supposed to be again you double posted something with the video people are going to scroll past that yeah these drawings are just not I don't really understand how you could possibly intend for this to be an art account this just seems like a doodle that somebody did when they first got their tablet and opened up a program with pressure sensitivity like just to be completely honest let's let's look at what you have in the captions you don't have anything there but hashtags so that's not good scenes that make zero sense this is i'm not getting really when you have artwork try to try to describe what you're doing day to day like who are you what are you doing this artwork for because let's be honest your art isn't at a level where People won't care what you have in the caption. They just, they're going to go gaga all over it. K-pop, you can blow up with K-pop and like <laughs> you can go so far with it. So try to, try to take advantage of that stuff and, and share more of who you are. I could easily see 15,000 plus. Um, but the thing is, as let me see your oldest post. This is actually pretty old, which is concerning. That's over. If you had a post in 2018, you should have a lot more than 15 posts. You draw when I procrastinate or have free time, which is never, you, you can't expect to really build a following with that kind of attitude in your bio and with your art in general. You don't have to post all the time, but you know, you can still be meaningful and tell people what you're doing so that they can kind of understand who you are. You, you're not really distinguishing yourself different from anyone else who just posts art, you know, no matter what your skill is. The last post was six days ago. Let's just go through here. And then November 14th, 2019, you're not going to grow like that unless you're uploading amazing pieces that took you several, several hours. I wouldn't expect to grow much and you were following 10 times as many people as you have followers, which is, is not really a good sign. Again, I think you're not really serious with your account just yet, even though your art is at a quality place. So I, I, I think there's pretty obvious where you, where you should go to grow. This is always concerning when I see followers and following matching. It's almost worse than when I see double the following or even more than that, because that just, that might just mean you're an older account and you're not successful yet, but this starts to suggest you do follow for follow or you follow everyone that follows you. And so you might have a high percentage of people who are following you that don't care about your work. They just want that follower number. So keep that in mind. Okay, so one thing I would say about Draw This In Your Style contest, you need to put the image that you're referencing in the Draw This In Your Style and have it a swipeable thing because that creates a lot of engagement for your account. I don't know why people tend to not post it because they don't want people to think it's they didn't do it. Just post it as a second image. That way you can connect with others and it's in the whole Draw This In Your Style environment. The airbrush, a flat, boring, lifeless kind of line drawing. It, you know, that's it's people are not impressed by this. I've done this <laughs> so much in the past few years. So I'd recommend you try to improve and figure out, take a head drawing class like I am at CGMA. That would really, you'd really improve from that. But yeah, posting stuff like this is not, you know, it's a dark, grimy image. It's dirty. You didn't take the time to Photoshop some of that stuff out. You didn't light it properly. All right. Well, it's pretty obvious why you're not growing. I don't know why someone linked this account. <laughs> VRcade. Uh... I don't know. I, I just at least put something in your bio, you know, moody. It's, it's tough. You know, you gotta, I see this a lot. I don't really understand why, I guess I don't understand why, why you and a lot of other people aren't doing this. You should talk, talk to people in your caption and tell them what you're doing and what you like. What this looks like is somebody stabbed her in her boobs several times and there's blood on the wounds right there. That's what it looks like when you shade like this. This, this sketch that's kind of half done and you have this mark in the middle. 
it's not really going to do too well for you compared to your other stuff. So I wouldn't have posted it unless you really finished it up. This kind of stuff at the beginning makes me feel like it's just a random spam account. There's just too many symbols and stuff like that. A lot of your artwork feels unfinished in this first nine. Like this, and this is blurry. Like, that's not good. You watched Ergo Josh. Oh, okay. Well, now I feel like I got to be really nice to you because you're making posts and tagging me in it. So <laughs> I don't really care about that guy and seeing this chair. It's not really appealing, but I would try to share things like this stuff in your stories. I don't even know what this is. Like, what is this? It looks like a cucumber with an eye and then lips are coming out of this. I don't even know. Whoa, Thomino. Okay, you have 160K, which is interesting. Okay, so this is going to be fun to try to critique you. <laughs> Just to be completely honest, like if it wasn't for your videos, I don't think you would be at the level you're at right now. I could be completely wrong. At least level you're at as in as in followers. You know, your 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 artwork is definitely up there, but you do post some stuff that's like I wouldn't expect to see from an account your size. You seem to have, have a very good understanding of how to be successful on Instagram. All right, so for your account, I remember seeing something about mental health in your your post. You're the happiest depressed person you may ever meet. It seems it seems like it's kind of half and half, and you're trying to do two things in one account. But when you have when you're trying to be an artist account, it just seems like it's a mess. So I'd say to focus more on the mental health side. Okay, another pretty big person, Moxie2D, 7,000 followers, 428 following. You know, doing Iron Man. I came for I came for the the anime Pokemon lolly looking stuff. I didn't come. I don't want to see Iron Man, right? I didn't I didn't come for that. But this got more likes because for obvious reasons, like this is what your audience wants. Try to keep that in mind and stay consistent. You know, they want the Pokemon. They want they want the female characters. So <laughs> keep them um, keep serving them that. And I think you'll see a pretty big boost once you've done that for a while. I mean, what do you expect? Nothing's going to happen <laughs> if you post whatever. You don't have a profile picture. Your posts are completely random and you have text in there and it's just like, uh. okay, Art of Shentai, you seem, you have commissions open. I can tell you're pretty good at drawing. This looks weird. 52 books. It almost looks like that's like a weird ad or something. Like, what are you doing art for? Why, why are you here? What, what are you trying to say with your art? You don't, it's not, it doesn't have to be profound, but it's like, I don't, I'm not latching on to anything. I'm not going to ask you to do any artwork. If I saw a lot, if I saw like 20 different versions of this with different faces like this you did here and this one, then I could see somebody asking you for a commission. But when I look at the rest, I'm like, nah. Jam Sketch, you're following 10 times as many people as following you. You're following 3,000 people. That's not good. <laughs> what are you doing? That there's no, there's no good reason for you to be following that many people, in my opinion, on Instagram. That's half the limit that you can follow. Like, what are you doing? You know, these kind of really sharp line art stuff don't do well anywhere. No one likes them. Trust me, I've been there. I'm not saying that just to be mean. Like, no one likes that stuff. Um, when you color it a little bit, it gets a little bit better. But, you know, you still have a lot of room to, you know, that you didn't really take the time to clean things up. I don't know why you used a giant brush for some of her hair and then thin brushes for the other part. It doesn't... When you want to grow on Instagram, again, consistency matters. Consistency. You can count how many times I've said consistency in this video. All right, so now we have Studio Hannah art. So with your account, and I know you have a YouTube account, but I'm not looking at those today. You know, I noticed you do this a lot, kind of a lot on your account. These gallery combined images are not good for your engagement because people, you know, it doesn't, people feel like they're just getting a piece of something and they go scroll past it, you know? And then I see you do this for six posts in a row. There's a big chance I would unfollow you for this, especially if you did this over the course of like a week or two. I would just be like, what is she doing? You know? <laughs> and yeah, posting, you know, a graveyard. You know, try to be consistent in what people are seeing and don't put too much extra stuff that they wouldn't be interested in seeing. Hugh X, Hugh's, Hugh sucks art. The quality level of this is way lower than these three. Like these have a lot of form to them. But here, this is like your typical line art shading of person that doesn't really know how to shade. You know, try to be more consistent. If you were posting stuff like this all the time, you would have a lot more followers, I promise you. But your other work kind of drops the ball um, when it comes to that quality level. And I understand because it, these kind of things can be very easy to do when you're studying the reference. But when you're being more inventive, it's a lot harder to match that.
So I hope this was helpful to you guys. There were a lot of repetitive of the same issue that I'm seeing across a lot of posts or a lot of Instagram accounts rather. There's such a huge lack of consistency that I'm seeing and it seems that most of you aren't really aware of what it is or what it takes to build an audience. I, I don't see an effort to distinguish yourself amongst other people. I don't see an effort to tell people who you are or show people what you're doing or take people with you on your journey. I don't see so much of, of confidence your own of your own work and I a lot of times I don't see an effort in your actual artwork a lot it, it's it, there's so much room for growth I'm like you should be taking people along with your journey and you should not be expecting any money yet so I hope you you learned something from this even if I didn't get to your account a lot of people were the same I, I do plan though to have a video that I will try my best to take a lot of different more successful accounts and not just you know ones with a million followers but kind of look at them in different tiers and share with you what they're doing that i believe everyone should be doing on instagram in order to grow and really on any platform and of course i'm going to critique myself as well because i'm not imperfect i am imperfect what am i saying <laughs> i am not perfect and i definitely have a lot of room to grow i have around forty-two thousand followers and i definitely want to grow that to you know, maybe a hundred thousand by next year, you know, who knows? But I'll tell you what I need to be doing in the future and how even the same things that I've critiqued you guys on that I need to apply to myself in my own way and at my own level. So stay tuned for that video and Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video again. Tell me if you want me to do more videos where I look at you guys' uh, Instagram pages or different pages online and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.